Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Please follow, like, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. As you guys know, I'm a makeup artist, but they had to cancel my makeup schooling because of the coronavirus. So, unfortunately, I'm just practicing at home. But except you can't really go to a, few, a lot of places because of the virus. So, the only places you can go is, like, pick up food and go to the grocery store and just pick up your daily things that you need. So I'm not really going to do a whole lot of, like, makeup, but I do want to do makeup. So I'm going to do, let's see, this one is a MAC eyeshadow. Let's see. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. And I will go over some of the things that I use in just a minute. I like to switch it back and forth, you know. I have a lot of makeup that I like to use, but I don't really want to use it right now because I have a cold and a sinus, so I don't really want to get into all that. But as far as that goes, hold on one second. I'm looking for something. Got these. These were the brushes I'm looking for. It came with five, but I had to get rid of one because I don't really use that one, and plus that one kind of broke. And these are not my like, good brushes. I've had these brushes. I got them at Sephora. They were like, I don't know, $39, $40, something like that, but they lasted me like four years, so that was good. Four years worth of brushes. I'm not bad. I have other brushes, but I just prefer not to use them. Okay. I'm using this one. Not too much. It goes a long ways. You don't really need a lot because it goes a long ways. It's more of a preference if you use it or you don't use it. It helps keep your um, eyeshadow on longer and your eyeliner on longer. It's like a long wear. So that's pretty good. This stuff you can get at MAC. I don't know, it's like $30, I think, $40, something like that. But yeah, it's expensive, but it's worth it. You always want to clean your brushes when you're done using them. And this one I got from Estee Lauder. I'll get into this one later. Okay, so I'm gonna use, let's see, which one do I use? Oh, yeah. First, I'm gonna, one second. Clean this off. I'm gonna clean this, clean this, clean this, clean this, clean this. I'm cleaning it. I'm gonna use. This dark, I don't really have black, but you can use black or brown. Sometimes I like to use black. So what you do with this is you just blot it on. You don't rub it and you blot it. It's called blotting or dabbing the eyeliner onto your eyes. I 
I learned this in makeup school because it doesn't make your eyes runny or smeary and it doesn't look like you have a big clog going across your eyes and it's more professional. And it comes out like a regular line. The left side is always the hardest side to do. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're just learning like I am. The more you practice, the better. Now I'm going to take this white one, put it in the corner, have a cold as you can tell, I hate having colds. This is like a rosy pink color, it's light. Mascara primer. Keeps your mascara on longer. This is brand new mascara. I love this one. I like to use a lot of different mascaras. Switching it up is good. I have a makeup case that I use for school, but that's just my school makeup case. These I'm just gonna leave out because, yeah. I just want to.
And this is highlighting and makes your face shiny and glowy. You don't put it all over your face. You just And give your face a lighter warm glow depending on the color of your face and this I'm going to use. I don't like to use the brush that comes with it. When you do the blush, you do it like this. There. Peace out. Thank you for watching.